guys welcome back to my channel or if you're new hi hello welcome thank you so much for stopping by in today's video we are going to be ranking the last 14 palettes I tried in 2021 so I figured I would just combine the last 14 I tried last year and go ahead and make it into one video that way this year with new palettes coming in we are going to be starting fresh with my rankings so I knew right away what my top five palettes were going to be based off of these my middle ones were a little bit harder to rank and then my bottom three I knew it just depended on where they were at so it was pretty much I knew the ones I didn't love the most I knew the ones I love the most and then the ones in the middle this is just where I'm leaving them at otherwise I feel like I'm going to change my mind a lot so none of these palettes as a whole are horrible Horrible. there are gonna be some shades in palettes where I talk about them and I'm like they're not my favorite but yeah I'm gonna quit rambling if you guys are interested in seeing where my last 14 palettes rank then just keep on watching all right so the palette range number 14 is gonna be the Patrick star one size palette so this is at the bottom because these shimmers are hard to work with for me I really like the mattes they're pigmented they're blendable and everything these shimmers just aren't my favorite the blue shade is a little bit patchy when I was using it I did have to pretty much just pack it on with like a smaller brush I couldn't really blend it and if I blended it it was very very patchy these shimmers if you apply it with a brush and you don't wet them there is shimmer particles like all over your face I got this in BoxyCharm and I really really wanted to love it because of the color story but it just ended up not being my favorite palette especially compared to everything else so there are the swatches there the blue isn't showing up as patchy but on your eyes well at least on my eyes it was very very patchy the shimmers are pretty they're just a lot better when you wet them with a brush all right so palette number 13 is this sigma rendezvous palette this one was sent to me from becca and this is the color story here it's a very very nice neutral palette i just wish there was a darker brown shade i have not tried any sigma shadows until trying this palette and i think it's a very good quality palette i definitely want to check out sigma's other palettes because of this i just wish the color story had a little bit more depth to it overall it is isn't a horrible palette. I just really like the other ones a little bit more and I'm telling you, you guys will see why. Look how shiny and reflective those shimmers are. Like this one, the light shimmer is so intense and beautiful and I really like the two matte shades. They're good for my skin tone without being too dark or too light where neither of them are gonna show up. All right, so palette number 12 is the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar Palette. All right, so I got this in the Halloween mystery box. By the time that I got it and would've filmed a video, everybody would've already seen so many other unboxings of it that I just felt like it was irrelevant. But if you guys wanna see an updated Jeffree Star collection video, I know off topic a little bit, but I will definitely do that for you guys just because I got so many good items in that box. It's just, it was so late that I didn't feel like anybody would really watch it. Anyway, so get back on track now. The Blood Sugar Palette is one that I never picked up when it initially launched, even when he did like the anniversary of it. I never picked it up. So I'm glad I got it in the mystery box because it was one I was curious on, especially with that top row. I really do not use the brighter shades much. Even this uh, purple shade here that's supposed to be like the darkest purple isn't super, super dark. It's a good quality palette. If this is your color story, then like by all means I do recommend it it's just not my preferred color story for using what a third and a couple so for using half the palette it's why it's ranked a little bit lower because I'm really not gonna get used out of this bottom row or this hot pink shade and the bright purple shade I'll use them here and there if I need it for like a character look or something but for the day-to-day -day, it's not gonna be shades I gravitate toward I couldn't rank it higher because I'm only using half the palette Alright, so here are the shades there, but you can see these shimmers are so wet and like sheeny metallic looking. These shimmers are absolutely beautiful. The mattes are super, super pigmented, but again, like these are just a little bit brighter than what I would go for. All right, so number 11 is this Tom Ford quad. This is their number four honeymoon, and this was also sent to me from Becca. 
The only reason this is number 11 is because there's no matte shades in here. The deep purple, you can, you know, pack it on and whatnot, and not too, you know, metallic-y, shimmery and whatnot, but it's not a full-on matte, but it's a very dark purple shade. If it had a transition shade for me, I would have ranked this higher because this would have made it a very easy everyday go-to palette. I'll normally just do my face, use whatever my bronzer is in my crease, and then use these shades, because like I said, it's not a fully matte shade, but you can give it the depth and everything on your eye. So it's a very good formula. These shades are so, so creamy. I just like the other palettes more because I had the options of mattes and shimmers in all the other palettes. Just look how beautiful. They're not chunky shimmers where you're going to get like texture on your eyes. It doesn't fall out with like crumbliness of the texture. All right, so palette number 10 goes to the Fenty Beauty Snap Shadow in the palette Cadet. I almost ranked it higher because of the color story, but I had to rank it a little bit lower because the formula of the other palettes I do prefer more than this one. It's matte heavy. You've got four mattes and two shimmers. I just prefer the other formulas more. It's not a bad formula. I really, really like the formula. It's a good everyday type palette for me. Very easy. Toss in your bag. Good to go. You don't really have to think about it. Good palette. I just like other ones a little bit more. Alright, so there are the shades there. You can definitely tell it has the gold sheen to it, where if you look at it just in the palette, it kind of looks white, but then you put it on and it definitely has that gold tint to it. I love that shade as an inner corner highlight, one of my favorite inner corner highlight shades. I feel like that'd be a really pretty face highlight. I don't know why I haven't tried it as a face highlight yet. Alright, so palette number 9 is the Kaleidos Electro Turquoise palette, and if you guys are old enough to remember when Taco Bell had this color scheme, hi, welcome to the club. Whenever Becca had first shown this palette on her channel, I was like, that reminds me of like old school Taco Bell. And after that, she always mentioned how it was like the Taco Bell palette because of me. I want to rank this so much higher. I really, really do. I don't know if it was because, you know, fall time and everything when I had this and played around with it that these colors definitely remind me more of like spring and summer and I didn't really reach for it then. The blues are gorgeous. Kaleidos has the most beautiful shimmer formula. If they came out with an all shimmer even if it was just like a 6 pan like this or if they did one of their 15 pans in an all shimmer, I would pick it up. Even though I say it all the time, I love having more mattes than shimmers because I like to build up the depth and dimension. I don't mind if I would have to pull in a separate palette to use mattes just to use Kaleidos' shimmers. They have one of my favorite shimmer formulas ever. They are insane. And then this shimmer right here is also what I have as my inner corner highlight. But just look how beautiful those shades are. Like, look how wet those shimmers are. Just such a beautiful, beautiful formula. All right, so palette number eight goes to the Ace Beauté Flare Palette. I had picked this one up in BoxyCharm. It was like $15 for two palettes, so I did give one to my friend. It's just fall in a palette. And I love the Ace Beauté formula. The mattes are so pigmented. The shimmers are so beautiful. You've got a rainbow palette without being a bright rainbow palette. You got the red, you got a yellow, an orange, a green, blue, violet. It's a grungy rainbow palette. And for getting this for technically like $7.50, such a steal. So, And I know Ace Beauté reformulated, so I'm pretty sure that this is the old formula. I don't know, maybe this is the new formula. Just look how those shimmers are. But just look at that biscotti shade. It is stunning. I'm I'm really curious now. I'm testing this for my own purpose. Maybe I that might be a new formula because these feel a little more textured. Those shimmers felt a lot softer in that flare palette. I don't know. I thought it would have been a older formula that they would have put in BoxyCharm. The Vintage Dawn palette I got from them definitely feels a little bit different in texture on the shimmers. All right, so palette number seven goes to the Midas Cosmetics Volume 2, their Artistry Palette Volume 2. So this was sent to me from Becca, and when she sent me the palette she was gonna get rid of and declutter, she was like, this one screams your name, along with one of the other palettes you'll see coming up. And I was like, 
oh yeah, you're right, it definitely does. I have heard of Midas Cosmetics before, I've never tried anything from them, but after trying this, I definitely want to try more from them. But this was one that I had my eye on when it had come out, I just never picked it up. But now that I know I enjoy their formula, I definitely want to check out what else they have on their site. Such a good palette. The only thing is for this, if you're trying to do tutorials and stuff and you don't know how to read cursive, good luck because these are all written in cursive. But just look how beautiful that is. Like, look at that first shimmer specifically. That shade is everything. It's like a dual chrome. You've got the brown to it, but then in the lighting it shows green. So beautiful. All right, guys, so palette number six goes to my Blend Bunny blends palette. The only reason that this is lower than the other ones is the color story. It's the most perfect rainbow palette, but I'm not wearing bright rainbow shades all the time. This is perfect for any rainbow look I do need for my body paints and stuff. I definitely prefer grungier tones, y'all know that, but it is such a good formula. She's got one of the best formulas ever. I do have her Surge palette, and then I do have the Dollhouse palette on the way. By the time this video goes up, I might already have it. I just prefer the other color stories more, but this formula is impeccable. They're so blendable, but they're so buildable as well. If I need a gradient purple, I've got this. If I need a gradient pink, I'll go to here. I don't have to sit and think about it. I don't have to dig in multiple palettes to find the right range of light, medium, and dark for any rainbow color. Let me do one more swatch for you guys because I did just grab three very light shades and one dark shade. And then there's the darker orange shade as well, so we did a little extra swatch here, but just look how beautiful those are, especially these two pastel shades for being that pigmented and the white being the way it is. Alright, so palette number six goes to my Jeffree Star Blood Money palette. My friend got one of the mystery boxes, but she had already bought the Blood Money palette, so when she got it in her mystery box, she was like, if you want it, you can have it, because I know it's your kind of color story, and I already love it, and I don't need a second one. And I was like, you know I'm gonna take it. Like, I love Jeffree's formula so much. This is just so beautiful. You've got a good range of light to dark shades, a good range from mattes to shimmers. Yeah, I just, I think it's so well done. All right, so here are the four shades. This first one is a beautiful inner corner highlight. So, so pretty. All right, so palette number four is the Kaleidos Futurism One Sci-Fi Green. This one was also sent to me from Becca, and I'm, I'm pretty sure you guys know why this is in my top five. It is absolutely stunning, and this matte black here is hands down one of the best matte blacks I've ever tried. The mustard, the grungy green, the two shimmers here, it's beautiful, it's stunning. These two are a little similar in depth and whatnot, but I don't care, I, I love both of these colors so much, it's fine. I think it's great, I absolutely love the quality of it. Let's see. The color payoff, the sheen on the shimmers, such a well done palette, but it's been out of stock for so long, I don't know why they're not bringing it back, I don't know if they're gonna do something similar to this that they're taking this out so they don't have two palettes, you know, on their site that are very, very similar. I don't know. If they're not discontinuing it, I hope they bring it back soon. I know Kaleidos is never going to see this video, but Kaleidos, if you somehow come across this, if you're not discontinuing it, please bring it back. If you are discontinuing it, why? Why? That, that's all I want to know. I just want to know why. All right, so palette number three, I have gone in place of putting this as number two, and the number two is number three so much, but this is just where we're leaving it. I'm putting the hammer down. This is where we're leaving it, or I'm going to sit here contemplating the number two and number three spot for the next 40 minutes. So number three goes to the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. This is what it looks like here. And when I first saw it, I got vibes of the Melt Muerte palette, which I had been so like sad over. You guys have heard it a couple times here on the channel that I wanted to pick it up. It is one of my biggest regrets palette wise that I don't own in my collection, but I can't justify spending like a hundred plus for the one palette that people are selling it for. So when I saw the color story of this, 
It's not an exact dupe. I've seen, oh, who was it? Was it, I think it was Amy Loves Makeup that I saw compare this. I don't know if Betty Bean even compared it. I know she said it gave similar vibes, but I can't remember if she did a video comparing them or not, but I'm pretty sure it was Amy Loves Makeup that I saw compare the two. It's so beautiful. I just don't use the reds very often and the other two I just like a little bit more and I want to say this was like $15 so quality price tag so good. I definitely want to try more from Beauty Bay now because of this palette. The shimmers are so creamy foiled, the mattes are so pigmented, blendable, buttery smooth and I love that you can just do each row and come up with your own type of look. Like you can do a full look just using this row, a full look, a full look, and then a full look. Or you can obviously like mix and match around the palette. I know some people have also said they have issues with the shimmers in this palette, like creasing up and whatnot in their eyes because of the creamy formula of it. I haven't had the issue and I have really oily hooded eyes. I have like triple creases in my eyes like when they're open and whatnot, so... I don't know. I haven't had that issue, but I know other people said they have. Look how beautiful it is. I love this as an inner corner highlight shade so much. All right, so the number two palette goes to the Jeffree Star Weirdo palette. This was a shocker to me. When I saw them release the palette, I got really excited except for the silver, the pink, and this bright red. But once I got it, it's pretty much the shade that I don't use. It is a little bit bright for my liking of a red, but this is your only shimmer. And when you do the looks and you pop this as an inner corner highlight, it is gorgeous. I've gotten so many compliments every time I wear this palette. I've just used this so much since I got it. I could have done without this shade and made it something else. But covering this shade up, I really, really enjoy all the other colors in here. I enjoy this one more than I thought I would, for sure. And it definitely surpassed my thoughts. Like, I thought I was just going to get this and use it here and there because I got the mystery boxes. I mean, I knew I was going to love it because of the formula. So there are the shades there, and I love that it's a muted pink. I was scared. If you guys want to see my go-to look using the Weirdo palette, definitely let me know. I love it so much. All right, so if you haven't guessed already, my number one palette is my Blend Bunny Surge palette. I talked about how I loved her matte formula in the Blends palette, but her shimmer formula is insane as well. This color story is just so beautiful, so perfect. I initially saw it, and I was like, grungy, it's fall, it's everything. But you've got your pastel shades, you've got your neon UV reactive shades. I feel like this is a good palette all year round. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. I have this whole blue row on my eyes, as well as that shimmer in the Kaleidos palette. The formula is out of this world, and it's so user-friendly. If you look at this color story and you're like, I really like the colors of the palette, I just don't know how to work with them. She lays it out perfectly for you. You can go in the rows, you can look at it in quads or like six pans and kind of do your own thing going like this, like those six together, these six together, even these six together. It works. It's just, it makes it so user-friendly. I, I don't have anything bad to say about this palette. If you guys have had your eye on this, I definitely say to check it out because you will not be disappointed. I definitely want to get a black light just to see how these react with it. I've used them in looks normally, but I want to see how they perform with a black light and just what the effect gives because I feel like these would be so fun to use in body paints. Just look how beautiful those are. Those shimmers are insane. I cannot wait to get the Dollhouse palette because there's two rows of shimmers. You've got some lighter shimmers and darker shimmers. It's probably the best palette I tried of last year out of everything. All right, guys, so that is it for the ranking of the last palettes I tried in 2021. If you guys have tried any of these palettes, definitely let me know what your thoughts are on them. This was my bottom palette, one of your guys' top palettes. If you guys want to see specific looks using any of these as well, definitely let me know. Let me know what your favorite palette of 2021 was, what your least favorite palette of 2021 was, and what you thought of the palettes I have in this video. And I'm going to quit rambling. I feel like I rambled on so much in this video. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell notifications so you guys know every single time that I upload. And yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!